wanna touch her no more Never should've listened to the serpent You shot yourself in the foot again Hey guys, uh, what's going on? It's Raven Renders. Um, I'm here today to show you guys uh, my BMO Raspberry Pi build. Um, yeah, so this is the only thing I've printed so far. This is going to be one of the triggers for it. So uh, yeah, anyways, in one second I will hop over into the um, blend file and I will show you guys what's going on. Um, I think that's everything I need to tell you guys. I have this switch, well it's not a switch, but it's like one of the triggers for it printed and I have this little switch. This bumper is going to press up against this bumper, press the switch, that's how it's going to be triggered and then I'm going to import it through a GPIO pin or something like that, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So, um, this is the blend file I currently have for my BMO project. Uh, let me see, open this in BMO 3. Whoops, totally just dropped the trigger. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is pretty much it so far. Um, there's going to be 3.5 inch LCD mounted in the front. Um, as you can see here, four triggers. Uh, I'll just hide this for a second. Actually, or I'll just hide all of these. All right. Um, so here's how the triggers are gonna work. Um, there is a small gap right here, enough for the trigger to travel along it. So um, normally the switch will bump right up against it, pushing the trigger all the way out. When you push in on the trigger, it'll have a small, a small amount to travel inwards, and that will connect the circuit, sending a message to Raspberry Pi, telling it that the button has been pressed. Um, so can hide everything, use the back plate for it. Um, yeah, and basically that's how these two buttons in the front here are going to work as well. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can find a D-pad that's uh, connected via USB so I don't have to set up four more buttons. I guess it isn't honestly that much work but it would be a lot more effective to have a product designed specifically for that. Um, possibly going to be putting a speaker in the front. Um, almost definitely going to be putting a fan right here in the back of this grill is not because it even really needs cooling but just because I don't know I can do it it would be something cool to do um what else yeah raspberry pi I have to set up a breadboard with uh, numerous circuits to interpret all these switches and then somehow import that into the raspberry pi and write a script in python telling it that these are some kind of keyboard keys or like when it receives input from one of the switches to output like an A or whatever it may be. Um, I'm planning on using the D-pad to control the mouse, right click, left click, or whatever, vice versa. Um, yeah, I'm not sure quite, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do a keyboard. It is going to have external USB, so if I do actually need to type anything into it, it will have two external USB ports, so I would be able to plug a keyboard into it. So that solves that problem for now. Maybe in the future I'll find a way to find like tapping the keys. Like if you tap one key like five times, it makes a Z, and if you press it once, it makes an A or some shit like that. Um, possibly, I don't know if I already said this, but it possibly might have wireless internet, so Wi Fi. Um, I do have a little US, a wireless USB stick behind me, and it's very small, so I figured. I probably will be able to fit it, it and the Raspberry Pi in here. It would just be a matter of configuring the drivers with the little USB stick, which sounds, but that it would be pretty simple. But it's actually not because the USB stick is old and the drivers for it are hard to find. Um, 
yeah, so uh, I pretty much think that sums it up for today for this build. Um, well, it wasn't even really a build, like, this is just the beginning of it. I have um, the main body and one of these sides being printed right now, currently. Um, yeah, they'll be ready tomorrow morning, so I'll probably do a video then. Um, sadly, when I got home, I realized I had modeled um, this piece incorrectly. Uh, it was scaled a little bit too small. It was like this. Not exactly, but this is kind of what the problem was. So now, um, it was printing like this, so these notches here aren't going to align with the notches in the side of the case, so I already know that isn't going to work, but okay, look here, you can still see it's not perfectly fitting, but okay, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, so I know it's not going to print correctly, but it won't take that long to reprint this little piece, and the main part is just to see if the case in general prints correctly. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all for this video. Um, if you guys liked it, then um, leave a like. Um, I'm definitely going to consider doing more videos as this goes on. Um, this definitely isn't a tutorial series. Um, yeah, it's basically just showing me on um, each stage of progression of making this into what my final idea is. Actually, I have this paper right here. I'll just read off. Um, one day I was sitting in class and I just I just came up for the idea for this. I just started writing down things that I wanted to include into this project. So um, things I wanted to include were triggers and I, yeah, I have those. Wi-Fi possibly. Um, keyboard yes. USB yes. Um, audio port I'm not sure. I couldn't find any products online for um, an external. Um, audio port mount, um, speakers possibly right here in the front, um, projector compatible, it's gonna have an AV out, so yes, it will be projector compatible, um, it will have external ethernet, uh, lock switch possibly might install a lock switch up here, um, that would just, uh, I guess turn off power to, power to the display and possibly, um, block these components with interacting with the Pi so it would effectively lock it completely and save battery life. Um, backlit, the display is already backlit so that isn't really a problem. Um, volume up down switch, I was figuring, I was uh, thinking that I might put one in here to adjust the volume but that will be a later addition that is definitely not something I'm worried about right now. Um, back fan and removable back and I have both of those. Um, yeah, uh, I did make a software side for it, that was just all the hardware things I'd like to do. Um, preferably have easy file transfer, and I guess that could be done through USB. Um, I'd like to have a custom OS interface, and that probably seems like a long shot, but I honestly don't know how hard it would be to redesign like a Linux interface, just to, all the functionality would be the same, just to have a different um, yeah, just a different looking interface would be cool. Um, compatible with Windows programs, preferably. Um, it's already running on Linux, so I'm pretty sure Linux is compatible with lots of Windows programs. I know there's a program you can get in Linux that will allow you to run Windows programs, so I don't know how that will go. Um, yeah, lock hibernate program. Um, maybe for like when you throw the lock switch, it'll turn on. Um, Raspberry Pi into a hibernate mode, which will save battery life. Also, one thing I forgot to talk about is um, I do plan on installing a battery pack. Um, I forget what it was called. I'll link it in the description. Um, it claims to have, I think it said, 14 hour battery life on um, 8 double A's, which I plan on getting rechargeable ones. So, yeah, that's pretty much all my ambitions for this project at uh, this point right now. Um, I honestly seeing I can honestly see this being a very um, achievable project because it honestly isn't impossible. These are all things I know how to do and um, if I definitely work on it I think I can definitely make this project become a reality which is actually really cool because 
if this actually becomes like a real thing, this will be like a small computer that can play games and do whatever. And I don't know, maybe you guys don't find that, that amazing, but I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I should have ended this video a long time ago. I've been talking for like nine minutes now, so it's gonna be a ten minute video already. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to see more progression of the build or uh, any of my other videos in general, I upload lots of uh, intros, lots of. Um, yeah, also just renders in general. Actually, I have a video right now I have to edit for um, my portal turret. You guys can check out the portal turret speed model. I actually rendered out the video that I wanted to make, so now I just have to edit it and upload it. So, yeah, um, the link to that will be in the description. Uh, yeah, so until then, I'll talk to you guys later.